UAE government denies cloud seeding took place before Dubai floods the NBC story. The National Center of Meteorology refuted uh, allegations of conducting cloud seeding operations before or during the heavy storms that led to flooding in Dubai with Deputy Director Omar Alizidi, Alizidi saying we did not conduct any seeding operations during this event, despite reports suggest that cloud seeding played a role in the heavy rainfall. NCM uh, clarified that they did not target any cloud during that uh, period, uh, attributing the storm to natural causes rather than human intervention, emphasizing that NCM does not conduct cloud seeding operations during extreme weather events. Cloud seeding integral, uh, cloud seeding in integral integral to the UAE's effort to address water shortage has been utilized since the 90s with over a thousand hours of seeding performed annually. However, the unprecedented downpours overwhelmed the country's infrastructure, highlighting the challenges posed by climate change induced shifts in weather, pa weather patterns. Mm -hmm. This is what CNBC is saying. Show us the clips, Rob, that we can kind of see this, how bad it is. This is Dubai. Oh right? my God. That is insane. Yeah. Dude. That's not Miami, that's Dubai. That's Dubai. Goodbye, Dubai. <laughs> oh my wow. God. Wow. Yeah. Adam, you know what they need? You hear, you hear the thunder? You hear the thunder? Dude, you, that's it. You mess with Mother Nature, you mess with the plan, and this is what happens. Tom, oh. did you go with us to Dubai or no? No, I didn't. But you know, Adam, you know what they need? They need a Jewish guy with a cane so he could cross the street. <laughs> That's Moses. Shout out to Moses. <laughs> Moses. I Thanks, need to cross Tom. the street. Do you have any more Tom, clips, Rob, like at the airport? for like 4,000 years. Yeah, no. The airport one was crazy. Look at, look, dude. What's this? That looks like a... What is this, Rob? This is just more B-roll footage of uh, some of the storms. The worst storm in 75 years. Oh, wow. That's like... Look at that. Dude, look at that. Oh. What? Mm -hmm. Dude, you, I would think, like, if you're there, you think it's the end of the world. Look, 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 look the trees are coming out of the ground. Hmm. Yo. Look at that. Look at the airport. The plane is, oh, my God. There goes the patio furniture. Wow, it's, and this is in Dubai. There's nothing of Dubai that would make you think that it's like this. Vinny, what do you so, think is well, going well, on there? Well, first of all, like, this just goes to, like, I love how everybody calls people that talk about, cloud seeding and they call it a conspiracy and they say you know the, the spraying of, of these airplanes because the airplanes are releasing stuff when you look up in the sky have anybody noticed in the last couple years and by, by, by the way the same thing happened on australia this was the worst flood they'd seen pbd uh look they call it tasmania floods look at what they're doing can, can i play this clip really fast this is in australia a couple years ago look at this in Tasmania are demanding to know why cloud seeding was conducted over the Derwent River catchment the day before the worst floods in 40 years. 40 years. Look cloud at that. Cloud seeding is do. a technique used to increase rain. Hydro Tasmania has confirmed it flew a cloud seeding flight despite the weather warnings. Farmers believe the technique could have made the flooding worse. Okay, Rob, that's good. The I, I, I think this is what happened when you mess with Mother Nature. I understand Dubai... They're trying to make it rain, and they're trying to do this and that. Listen, you're in Dubai. You, it, it is what it is. And then uh, I, I saw this video uh, about uh, David Keith. I sent it to Rob. He was on uh, Stephen Colbert, which I'm shocked Stephen – he was trying to be funny, but you know he was making the point where this guy talked about uh, geoengineering, which is the deliberate effort to manipulate the climate by reflecting more sunlight back into space. It mimics the process that occurs in the aftermath of a large volcanic eruption. In theory, spraying sulfur, acid, and similar particles in sufficient quantities could potentially ease global warming. This is him saying that Gulfstream business jets could fly around and spray this shit in the air and we would breathe it in. Go ahead, Rob. This is it. You could actually spray sulfuric acid in the stratosphere, 20 kilometers over our head, and use that to stop the planet warming up in a oh, kind wait, of ugly you, tech fix. You can, you can spray something into the atmosphere to yes. change... Okay, spray okay. Spray pollution into the atmosphere to stop it warming. How do you do this? Okay. You start with a fleet of modified business jets and say 20,000 tons of sulfuric acid uh -huh. into the stratosphere every year, uh -huh. and each year you have to put a little more, mm -hmm. and this doesn't, in the long run, mean that you can forget about 
cutting emissions. We will need to rein in. No, we'll get to it eventually. In the meantime, we're shrouding the earth in sulfuric acid. So people are terrified about talking about this Uh because they're scared that it will prevent us cutting emissions. Right, and also that it's sulfuric acid. We put 50 million tons of sulfuric acid in the air now as pollution, and it kills a million people a year. A million. Okay, but it'll be better if we put more in. We're talking about 1% of that. 1% more, we're just killing 10,000 more people. You can do math. What happens to the sulfuric acid after it's sprayed? Does it just stay up there? No, it rains down, okay. but it's a tiny addition. <laughs> okay. We're already doing it. Is there any it's possible way? This this is- yeah, he's pitching it. He's pitching it. It's almost done. Look, look. And now he's talking about chemtrails. Watch this. It turns out to be an old idea. This really? was known since President Johnson. You ever look at those planes up there? They this- have contrails behind them. <laughs> maybe all those planes are the contrails. Maybe they're actually spraying chemicals into the atmosphere right now, and Uncle Sam isn't telling us. Seems extremely unlikely. The that fact the is United States is not telling something to its citizens that seems extremely <laughs> likely to me. Conservative. Read the newspaper. Now look at this quote. Time to get this quote. I think they might have your idea already. The true genius in advertising is to sell you the solution to the problem. So, going to my point, messing with messing with nature, spraying, spraying us, and we're breathing this shit in. That's why cancer is up. That's why all these problems are... What's the are- argument, though, Tom? What is, the, is the argument the fact that this is not being done, or is the argument the fact that... What, what's, what's bothering some of the folks, Tom? Well, I, I think that What's very funny, not funny, what's happening in Dubai is terrible. There's people suffering over there, bad things happening. But I found it pretty interesting that moments after this rainstorm starts, Omar Al-Yazidi jumps up and says, wasn't us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <of course. laughs> Wait a minute. That's called the shaggy defense. It wasn't me. It, it, yeah, exactly. But he jumps up almost immediately saying it wasn't us. And it's like there wasn't time for the newspapers to come out with a story, Pat. And these guys are up there. Hey, we weren't conducting cloud seeding this week. Yeah, and and, it will, and some of them were claiming that it doesn't. Hold on, that that it doesn't exist. And this no, is no, a they've UAE. been trying. Look, they've been trying cloud seeding for, and they've been doing cloud seeding for decades to try to influence rain over farm areas at, during um, during dry seasons or during normal seasons that were overly dry. They've been doing this for for a long, long time. And do you think it happens here at all, Tom? Do you think they ever mess with it over the United States? And then, I don't know. Hurricanes happen. Weather that we've never seen happens, and then I, like. I, like causing disaster. Look, I can't tell you if one causes the other, but I can tell you they've been doing cloud seeding for an awful long time. Yeah. And either it doesn't work or they're getting some result out of it. But the thought of putting excess chemicals up there well, and this this guy, what this guy is talking about is nuclear winter. If it gets too warm on Earth, we'll just make a nuclear winter because when the <laughs> volcanoes go up, it actually leaves things too cool and it blocks the sun which prevents by the way oxygen drops down because things go down in terms of coolness Mm -hmm. but you block the sun from getting the plants plants eat carbon dioxide and then give you oxygen yeah well these are these climate well this that guy's attitude is this climate activism shit where they're like we're gonna control it we're gonna block the sun but as you just heard and that's probably a conservative number a million people die each year because of the shit that they're spraying in the sky but climate act john Kerry and all them well if, if you pick if you're going to pick things out of there and decide he's either, you know, a lunatic uh, scientist. Let's or, wrap up here. Adam, or go he's, ahead. Yeah. Well, he's nuts. He's uh, nuts, Tom. That well, uh, my best friend, Adrian, uh, is there right now. International war correspondent. He's been forever. There he is right there. He's in Dubai as we speak. Pat, you know him. Vinny, yeah, you I sort thought. of met him. You tried, when you, when Vinny was him. drinking, Vinny yeah. tried to fight. Why are my you best showing friend. this? I, I was, I'm showing the videos. I'm not, I'm not highlighting this. He sent a bunch of videos. But I said, dude, what the hell's going on over there? Like, you're on the ground. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. Okay, I'm showing the videos. This is what this he is. is, him. is, this He's, is him. There. He's filming this as we speak. Um, I said, dude, what the hell's going on here? There's another video right there. We'll show it real quick. Um, but I said, what's your take? He's a, he's, he worked for... Bloomberg, he worked for CNN, he's worked for NBC, he's been around the block, he's a correspondent. He kind of knows what he's talking about in this regard. He said, look, I've been in four major storms and flash flood events all around the world in the last year, including Miami, New York, Seoul, and now Dubai. The bottom line is more heat equals more condensation equals more rain. In my opinion, no government, especially UAEs, has the ability to cause this type of flooding and this type of rain within 24 hours. Yes, cloud seeding is a thing. Yes, weather manipulation is a thing. Uh, but also you have to know that it's been the hottest, re- hottest weather 
on record here in the Arabian Peninsula, Peninsula, and they have desert soil, not the limestone that's porous like we have in Miami to soak up everything here. By the way, just a little fact, the winds here were in excess of 30 miles per hour, so it's not just this alleged cloud seeding. It was also a big storm that was passing through the peninsula that affected the Persian Gulf, the Sea of Oman, and Iran as well. I'll send you videos to prove it. There it was. Here's what I'll say. There's fact and then there's opinions. Is it a fact that cloud seeding and weather manipulation yep. is a thing? Yep. Yes. I mean, and I, I would assume it's for the purpose of making deserts, having the ability to have rain, technology, advancement. Did it happen here? Speculation. But we'll see what happens here. But it's a very interesting storyline. Oh, hell yeah. I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party. Tulsi Gabbard says she is no longer a Democrat. A potential Tulsi Gabbard VP. Where we are being told that we just have to comply and go along with whatever they say. American people uh, are smarter than this. However, we must remain vigilant to recognize their propaganda for what it is, pure lie. Unfortunately, we live in a time where free speech is under attack. Whatever they say goes and we, we have to just fall. And the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, you owe them an apology. <laughs> on a debate stage before I would look forward to doing that again. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.